we are going to be talking about your works. So shooting time, again, your fans are curious about all the shows that you have done, all the work that you have done. So here, we're going to watch some videos together and we're going to talk about them. You have shown us very diverse sides of you through the characters that you have played. So it was kind of hard for us to narrow it down. So what we did was we threw it to the fans and they voted for their favorite character. Let us take a look at the ranking first. Okay, in first place. Okay, third place goes to Hanam from Lovers of the Red Sky. Second place is Hojin from Lucky Romantic. Third place is Kang Temu from Business Proposal. Does this reflect your choices, everyone? Okay, good. But what, what do you think about the ranking that we have here? Oh, they think it's really good. 제가 지금 아시아 투어를 돌면서 나라마다 순위가 다 조금씩 달라요. It's very fun to see because in every tour that I go in every country that I visit, there are a lot of differences in the ranking. 그래서 아 마닐라는 또 이렇게 좋아해 주시는구나, 어디 또 이렇게 좋아해 주시는구나 보고 되게 재밌게 다니고 있습니다. And I can see right now that the Manila fans love this ranking, and I think this is also very fun to see. Easy for the fans to choose one as well, but we are curious about the rankings. So let's hear the opinions of those who chose your character in Lovers of the Red Sky. Let's take a look at this. We'll read through um, the thought behind choosing this one. Can we take a look, please? Or I will just read. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hyosop juggling three characters in Lovers of the Red Sky blew my mind. His warmth and gentleness shone through Haram, yet his tenacity and manliness shone through Mawa. Being able to portray two extremely contrasting characters in one drama shows the amazing flexible acting skills of An Hyosop. Make some noise if you would. We have um, something that follows this. Would you like to read that one? Lovers of the Red Sky is the first K-drama that I watched. And because of that, I cannot forget his name as well. It's his face. <laughs> is your voice really that buttery? Like, is that your <laughs> My goodness! Especially when you're talking in English. Okay, alright. Here we go. Okay, this okay, this character though, it really did resonate with a lot of us. It must have been really challenging to play uh, three different characters in one show. What did the character Haram from Lovers of the Red Sky mean to you? We wanna know. First of all, it was a very big challenge for me. And of course, since this is a history drama, it was my first time. And of course, I had to be the Mawa. Um, it's like, it's like a... Uh, okay. There was a devil inside me, and I had to, I had to act, act the devil. But at that time, the blood was very long. But for me to act as the devil king, it really took so much time for my makeup. Um, I had to get the blood for 3 hours. The first time I received the makeup for three hours, I cannot remember how shocked I was. But in the end, since this is a romance drama, I tried my best to focus on the love I have for Yuzo. Very interesting. And it really was a remarkable show. You know, as you say, it was a period piece, and then you had to do all that makeup. Um, I'm sure that it was a very memorable show for you, and there were numerous iconic scenes on the show, Lovers of the Red Sky. Let's take a look at some of the iconic scenes together, and then you can tell us a little bit more about the scene. Let's watch this. <laughs> Yun na ba yun? 
Originally, the scene was Chun-Gi pulling me out. But I was rehearsing, rehearsing. But I felt But while we were rehearsing the scene, I felt like my pants were going to fall down. So I asked right away to the director. Director, how about my pants fall down? So that allowed this scene to come to life. Hey, bravo! What a genius idea that was. Thank you for that gift. No, it, it really made the scene so much more interesting. You need a lot of courage, she says. Can you read the next line, please? Uh, Dr. Romantic is my favorite co-driver, which has been a great source of inspira inspiration for me, uh, aspiring to become a doctor. It motivates me to pursue my dreams. Uh, wow. Good for you. That is an amazing message. Um, Dr. Romantic, I think Sojin was a character that was maybe similar to you. Would you agree? Um, and let's talk about Sojin's growth. Right. In your opinion, what was the most significant aspect of Sojin's growth or change that we witnessed on the show? Sojin was a character that had a lot of similarities with me. When Ujin was first shown, he was shown as a pessimistic and cynical character. But when I saw him at that time, I had a little bit of a pessimistic character. And actually, during our shoot, I myself as a person was very pessimistic too. But when Ujin went to the hospital, he was able to get the hospital and get the hospital and get the hospital. But as Ujin, began to enter into the hospital and he began to experience this growth. I think actor An Hyosop too experienced the same growth. That's why a lot of my friends, when they saw me after the project, they told me, oh, Hyosop, you've changed. you become more loose, you become more comfortable. And I think that allows me to have a deeper connection with this character. Wow, it's, it's kind of like method acting, but not. Like, you know, you really embody that character, you became that character. That's so fascinating. Let's take a look at some of those wonderful scenes, again, from Dr. Romantic. Let's watch this. Hey, 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 난 지금까지 안 힘들게 사는 인생을 본 적이 없는데 왜 하필 돌담 병원입니까? 내가 좋아하는 사람들이 있으니까 여기서 내가 잘할 수 있는 걸수 있고 됐지? 그게 전부입니까? 사람이 사람 말고 다른 이유가 필요해? Sojin very well, and you've just said that you do find that you're very similar to this character. 
tell us a little bit about the scene. You know, how do you remember it? How do you relate to it? 처음 이 대본을 봤을 때부터 어, 굉장히 기대가 됐던 신이었어요. When I first received the script, this scene was something that I was excited about. 제가 지금 삶을 생각하고 있는 거를 똑같이 써주셨더라고요. Because the words written there was as how I was thinking about life at the moment. 제가 생각했을 때도 삶에 큰 이유가 필요하, 필요하지 않다고 생각합니다. Because that time I thought you shouldn't have a big reason for life. 중요한 건 같이 살아가는 사람이 있고 내가 좋아하는 일을 할수 있으면 된다는 생각을 가지고 있었는데 because that time I was thinking that the most important thing is is to have the people that you love around you and to be able to do the things that you're good at. 근데 대사가 딱 똑같아 가지고 너무 잘하고 싶은 마음에 좀 떨었던 기억이 있습니다. But the lines written for this scene was very similar to what I was thinking of, so I was very nervous to do this scene too. So personally as well, this is one of my most favorite scenes. Wow, thank you so much for sharing that backstory with us. Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Hong Kong. So it's not surprising that many fans have chosen this as their favorite, and I'm sure they have many reasons. But let's take a look at this one. When going through tough times, I laughed a lot while watching Business Proposal, and it helped me forget my pain. Laughter improved my health a lot. I am very grateful for this drama. Can you read the next line, please? Uh, I think Kang Temu's role in Hyosop Hyosop Happy. It was wonderful to see you share. 제가 이 작품을 하면서 어, 아 정말 이렇게까지 재밌을 수 있구나라는 생각을 하면 좋았던 것 같아요. While I was doing business proposal, I really thought, ah, oh, I didn't know you could have this much fun in shooting. Oh, okay. So earlier, I thought maybe the fans, you know, had a hard time choosing, but turns out that this character actually won by a landslide here in the Philippines. 61.5% of you voted for this character as your favorite. Who voted for Kang Temu? Okay, a lot, a lot, okay. Why do you think uh, the fans love Kang Temu so much. Kang is Kang Temu, but I think Well, despite the character Kang Temu, I think everyone has something that they think about. But I think it's just a few minutes, and I think it's just a few minutes, and I think it's just a few minutes, and I think it's just a I think the reason why the fans love this drama so much is because through this drama, they can put down what they're thinking about, what they're burdened about, and also have a good time through this drama too. 그리고 뭐 강태모 완벽하잖아요. And you can see Kangtemu is perfect, right? Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not uh, uh. But yes, let's talk about the character. You know himself, Kang Temu. I know you've talked about you know just the, the show and um, your experience playing him as well. But just from your perspective, from your perspective, what do you think is the charm of Kang Temu that had everyone just fall in love with him? 정말 모든 것을 잘하는 완벽한 남자지만 he's a perfect man who can do everything well. 그렇지만 그 안에는 아직 순수한 사랑을 믿는 그런 아이 같은 모습들이 비춰졌을 때 But deep inside him, you can see his pure image where he's just like a child ready to get love and to 한도 없는 카드도 있고요 And of course, the limitless card Hey, I love the card! Yes. I love the a very clear breakdown of the character, thank you very much But I also have no doubt that the fans loved it because you yourself became Kang Temu Alright Let's take a look at an iconic scene from the show Business Proposal. Let's watch this. You know, I, 
iconic, again, um, this is where you are giving honey a heart fluttering kiss. Um, this is a scene that really made everyone's heart race. I mean, just watching it now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it all over again. How do you feel while filming this scene? First of all, it was very cold. But one thing I remember, there were two swing seats, and what was supposed to happen is Harry would push me out of the seat and she would kiss me. But that scene was so awkward, that's why Sejong and the director thought about this and talked about this for such a long time. But conclusively, I can see that the scene came out really cute, so I also had a very fun time. Yeah, we couldn't tell at all that there was any kind of awkwardness before that. Great job! Um, speaking of romantic comedies, you show us, you know, your romantic comedy skills once again in a show called uh, A Time Called You, right? And we're just curious, you know, when it comes to like romantic comedy acting, is there anything in particular that you are mindful of, perhaps? I think in all the facial features, what cannot hide that you're lying is your eyes. I thought if I would show this emotion in a fake way, the viewers would know right away. So that's why I tried my best to really get into the moment and do the truthful emotions. I think, you know, maybe not just in your shows, but even as you are sitting here right now and allowing us to know, like, you know, what's going on in your life. Yeah. Let's stand up and conclude. That brings us to the end of this segment. Once again, it was An Hyo-sop shooting time. Please give him a big round of applause if you enjoyed that one. Of course, this is not the end. Uh, we're going to come back. We have a lot of activities planned for the fans. We have games and we're just going to have a blast. So we'll be right back after this. Right now though, we do have a video that we prepared for you. So please watch that and we'll be right back. <laughs>